Kobe, one of the things that fascinated me, you have skin in the game. This oh, is, yeah. So you saved your money. Oh, yeah. You did well, and then you invested. Any advice for a lot of athletes now coming out who get paid, say, big endorsements, yeah. and they seem broke in a couple of years? Yeah, well, because here's the problem. I mean, once you retire, you don't have that source of income that's coming in, right? So even if you save over a 15-year career, if your spending habits remain the same, eventually that well's going to run dry. Right. Right, so unfortunately for us athletes, the retirement age is 32, 34, if you're lucky, 37 like myself. What comes next? Right, so the question needs to be what comes next? What can I do? What is my passion? Not where I can create the most value or generate the most revenue, but what is my next passion? When you find that next passion, everything else will make sense. But that's the hardest part for us. Now, uh, I know that Scopely used video games. I think video games are actually the hottest part of technology. And the chips that go into video games make it so it's lifelike. Uh, this will be what, like NBA 2K for some TV shows that have uh, characters? <laughs> it could be. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely could be. <laughs> are, are, you, are you getting good at reading balance sheets and income statements? No, I, I, I'm getting better at it, but it is not my strength. Right, so for example, when Jeff and I sat around and said, okay, we should do this company. His mind automatically went to operations. Yep. Mine went to story, logo, and right. So right. we just we just went different ways. We're a team, right? right. Same in the, at the core, which is two different sides of the brain. Right. I, I got to ask this. How? Uh, just as a person, I mean, I, I've idolized you from the days you came out of Lower Marion, okay, oh, from the Aces. How can you be so humble? Honest to God. I mean, listen to what he did. He asked you a question, and you could have said, yeah, I'm getting good at it. But no, you just said, I'm a student. Yeah. That's no. just been your way. But, I mean, but we have to constantly learn. I mean, that's why uh, the, the, our, our mantra is value growth. Because to grow, you have to constantly learn. You have to constantly move, constantly improve. I mean, that's the, that's the key. That's what makes life fun, I think. CEO you admire more than others. CEO I admire more than others. Well, I, I work very, very closely with Mark Parker, and Mark has been a great mentor of mine for years. I mean, it's there's times where I'll, you know, I can't sleep and I'll shoot Mark a, t Mark a text message about, you know, I'm having trouble building this company here. What do you think about this, that, and the other? How did you do it? Right. And he gives me very detailed responses. So, you know, MP for me has been, Does been everything. Does he ever sleep? I've shot an email to try to get a uh, buck. Yeah. Right away, right? All right, because yeah. you're doing such a great book. Yeah. He comes back immediately, he's a more region. I mean, that, yeah. that guy's on his game. Yeah, he's always thinking. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a thinker. And, uh, you know, what I love doing is cold calling people, getting their book list. <laughs> <laughs> what did you read? What did you learn? How did you learn it? You know, those are the questions. Um, LeBron's got a new show on our network called Cleveland Hustles. Yes. Any advice for him getting into the world of media? Well, no, no, no advice, really. I mean, it sounds like this is something that he loves to do and yeah. he's passionate about doing. I mean, right. that's really the key. You know, if you have the love to do it, you know, you'll be able to handle whatever bumps come your way. So I'm sure it'll be just fine. I just think, is it possible, I mean, when you do bring one of these companies public, do it here, okay? <laughs> you don't bring the bell again. It's too exciting. We don't get a lot of big you know guys story like that. Is, uh, we're, getting, we're getting viewers asking, you know, can, can I get in on a B round? At what point do outside <laughs> investors have a chance? Jeff? Yeah, I mean, look, right, right now, we're investing proudly our money. We want to learn, we want to grow, we want to do it on our dime. At some point, we might, we might raise money. We're not prepared to do that now. Uh, for some of these great companies, Jim said it best. Let's get them public, let's get them out there, and then people can buy on the public markets. Uh, when you look at uh, your career, all right, um, I, there's a lot of times when you had to carry a team. This seems like the old days, though, when you had the full panoply of guys at, at the Lakers. Yeah. It's not like, you know, because last few years, yeah. I thought you had to carry well, yourself. See, that's the beautiful part about business. Right, you're not restricted by salary cap regulations. <laughs> right, you know, the roster's not Careful, restricted. we might have to start giving yeah, people you know, raises. You know, you know, you get a chance to work with people that are, uh, that think the same way and have the same kind of passion. It's just, it makes for a beautiful environment. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.